Senate Bill 762 in the 2021 session, of course, was the omnibus wildfire bill, way beyond anything Oregon's ever done in terms of wildfire risk reduction and response. It had a ton of different pieces, and one of them is mitigation. And the basis for all that is a statewide map that divides all of Oregon into five risk categories. The two highest are extreme and high risk. And that's where um, new guidelines, new resources, and new regulations are gonna have to happen. Nobody really wants a, additional uh, restrictions on their own property and their own vegetation. We live in Oregon because we like to be uh, surrounded by, by vegetation and trees. So that makes this program that we're gonna see today and others essential to any kind of success. And it's an investment we're making on behalf of the whole, the whole state. So I'm pretty tickled to see it uh, unfolding on the ground. So you can see here, uh, we have really thick vegetation. It's very hard to stay ahead of it. Boy, this really could be a wick to carry fire a long way. Absolutely. I think it would be a really positive thing if property owners can get some hands-on help to help harden their properties uh, to comply with these new uh, assessments coming out. It could get us the help we need that we haven't been able to afford or uh, do ourselves physically. If there was a major fire up here and it damaged this stuff, we'd be rebuilding Gold Hill from the ground up. Well, what did this look like months ago or whenever? A jungle. Everything where you see vegetation grown, they, they went over and cleared and then they pruned trees, they did the brush, then they chipped it all up and dispersed it. They did an amazing job. We couldn't have got to it. It was just like a blessing that these guys came up here and did this for us. You knew that it had to get done, but you didn't know yeah. how, how to do it? We're spread pretty thin. We wear a lot of hats here. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. I feel safer. The whole council feels safer. Everybody was very excited on the council that the group was coming. After the 2020 fires, everybody, it became more prevalent, right? You know, fire isn't just in the woods, it's in the cities, it's in the communities. When we really kind of look at our wildland fire threat that we have here in our area, it's massive. I mean, we have 15% poverty rate. We have a lot of senior citizens, just like this house that's here. They're fixed income. They've been on the fixed income for the last 10 or 15 years. All the money they have is wrapped up in their property. If they lose that, it's a huge impact. We can provide them all the education that we need, but we really don't have a lot of ability to provide boots on the ground to do the mitigation work. That 100 feet is what makes the difference. Screens, gutter covers, mitigation, some of those uh, evergreen trees, that's really what's going to make the difference. And some of that is, is not expensive. There's a lot, nope. of, a lot of gain to be made for small investment. That doesn't do the whole picture. Mm -hmm. And luckily with you know your help in Senate Bill 762 in the Northwest Youth Corps, they're able to come down here and provide some of that. We're not gonna solve this problem just as the fire department and suppression. We're not gonna solve this problem. Our legislature. Yeah, even even sitting in Salem. We're, we're, it's gonna take everybody coming to the table to protect Oregon.